The purpose of today's video is to compare Armagh Milestone versus a vintage batch of Creed Millicene Imperial and a newer batch of Creed Millicene Imperial which I have as well. So in today's video we're going to find out if Armagh Milestone is worth buying. Now I want to start off by talking about this. This is Creed Millicene Imperial, a vintage batch from 2014. This is one of the most important fragrances that I have in my collection. It's like a prized possession for me. It's one of my favourite fragrances of all time and it's a fragrance that I don't really wear much because I am anxious about using the fragrance. However, Creed Millicene Imperial, the vintage batch, is very unique. It's different to anything else I've tried before and I can only imagine the kind of splash this made when it was first released. When people first put their nose on this, I can only imagine the kind of splash it made within the fragrance community. So this vintage batch of Millicene Imperial is just so interesting to me. It's very salty, but you have fruit accords in here as well. But the fruit accords are mainly a melon note. So you get a salty marine vibe with melon and then it dries down to be very clean and woody. But I just find it to be such an interesting fragrance. And it's one of the only fragrances I would say I've tried that are actually transportive. So you could close your eyes and smell this and you can really picture yourself to be standing on a, an ocean during sunset and a gentle breeze is blowing the ocean air into your face. That's kind of what I get when I smell this. It's the saltiness in here which I just find so unique and interesting. I don't know how you make a fragrance smell salty, but they've done it with this fragrance. And it's very, it smells very natural, it's clean, it's versatile as well. So. There's no situation really where Creed Millicent Imperial would not work. And I think Creed's selling point when they were making fragrances like this, you know, 10 years ago, their selling point in the fragrance industry would have been the materials that they used. I haven't tried another fragrance that I can remember that smells as natural as this and a fragrance where you can really tell the quality of materials. The only one that comes to mind is Torino 21. It doesn't smell like this, but it smells ultra natural and you can just get a sense of the high quality materials that are used and when you smell this when you smell Melissa Imperial vintage batch you get a sense of the kinds of materials and the quality that went into Creed fragrances 10 years ago so now we're going to look at this. This is a F batch of Creed Millicent Imperial, which means it was only made, I think, in the last year. So I'm going to spray it on a test strip and I want to really kind of, I want to really explain this fragrance to you. So it still smells nice. It's still a nice smelling fragrance and it should be for the price, right? £270, I think this costs now for 100 mil. It should be a nice smelling fragrance, but the magic has gone. The magic, the spark, the saltiness, the uniqueness from the OG, from the vintage batch of Millicent Imperial that we just looked at is gone. It hasn't got that kind of transportative effect. So when I smell this, I don't close my eyes and picture that I'm standing on a beach with a gentle breeze blowing the ocean air into my face. It hasn't got that feel to it. It hasn't got the high quality natural smell to it. It's quite fruity, but the melon note is more of a fruity note. So it's more of like a cheaper, generic perfume fruity smell rather than like a, a distinct melon note that you get in the original that is different, isn't it? You know, how many fragrances do you know that have got the note of melon? Not many. Not many fragrances have the note of melon in there. So this one has a, a fruity note to it, but the saltiness is dialed way back. I don't know if, well, they have definitely changed the ingredients, but I don't know what ingredient exactly gave the original MI the saltiness, but this one has been toned right back. So this one smells quite airy. It's fruity. You still have the clean musks in here. So lots of clean musks, clean woodiness, clean musks that you get in the base. So it still has that smell to it but it's nothing like the original. The magic's gone and the uniqueness has gone as well. And it's such a shame. It's such a shame when amazing perfume companies such as Creed sell their brand to you know big corporations. And then what we see, and it's happened time and time again with perfume brands, and it will continue to happen as well. It will continue to happen, especially to these popular niche brands. They get sold off to big corporations. And then what they do is they refine the fragrances down to a point where they're just making so much profit from them. So any expensive ingredient is stripped back, used in such small doses, and they use the cheapest and most readily available perfume oils possible and ingredients possible, but then the prices are always jacked up. So you end up, you know, if you, you're just a normal person who bought a bottle of Millicent Imperial, you know, 10 years ago, 
and then you didn't you used it a little bit. You you know the bottle lasted a few years. You didn't buy it again. But then ten years later, you thought actually I used to love that bottle of Melissa Imperial. It's my birthday coming up. I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to buy another bottle of of Melissa Imperial. And then you ended up buying this. Your experience. Not only are you paying a hundred pound more than you would have done before, and you get a smaller bottle, 120 mil to 100. But your experience is going to change. This is not going to give you the same experience as the original did. And that is a massive shame. And I think if they couldn't make this fragrance anymore, if perhaps there was some ingredients that are either not available anymore or are banned, they should have discontinued this fragrance instead of cheating customers, cheating consumers, and keeping the same fragrance name without actually saying that the formula has changed. I think that's really wrong. And it's something in the perfume industry that I hate. So now we come on to Milestone by Amaf. And the bar is set much lower, isn't it? When we have a fragrance of £35 versus £275, the bar is set lower. It doesn't have to be as natural. It doesn't have to be as high quality. And when we review a fragrance, we're going to have a different expectation on a £35 fragrance versus a very expensive fragrance. Now, I think what Amaf have done with this is excellent. They have obviously tried to copy or to mimic the original that we looked at the very salty Minasim Imperial before the reformulation and it doesn't smell bad at all it smells really good especially for £35 it might have some cheaper ingredients in there it doesn't smell as natural it's not as clean it's not as uh, it's not as high quality obviously as the original but it smells good it smells close it's, you get the saltiness in there it's got a melon note but it smells more like watermelon to me and it's on a base of clean musks and woods so you still get a very versatile scent there's nothing in here really that's off-putting it's a little bit sharper than the original so it has a, a bit of a sharp note in here especially in the opening but in the dry down it's going to be quite similar to the original with a hint of the reformulation of Melissa Imperial now I, I don't like to say things are 80% the same 90% the same because there are going to be some differences especially when comparing this to the original the, 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 the natural ingredients in here are not going to be the same because they've made this for £35 but it's a very worthwhile fragrance to own. And I also really enjoy the Siage version as well. You had Milestone and Siage, both clones of a of Creed fragrances. I'm not invested in clones particularly. I know they're really big on the market at the moment. I don't really take much interest in clones and I haven't got many in my collection and I'm not going to buy many. But Milestone, I think, is a fragrance that we almost needed because Creed discontinued the original Millicent Imperial, and they have half brought it back with this. So Milestone is cheap, it smells good, it's versatile, this could work as a signature scent. Guys, really, £35 for 105 mil, you really can't go wrong. What are you expecting? £35, I think this is a must-buy for anyone who wants to at least get somewhere towards the original batch of Millicent Imperial. So let's sum up then with what we've learned today. The original Melissa Imperial, one of the best, most magical fragrances I've ever tried and arguably one of the best marine fragrances ever created. It's an absolute shame that it's been discontinued, but I'm lucky enough to own this bottle. We also learned that the new reformulation is not worth the money, especially not worth £275. If you spend £275 on this, please do not. Please don't make that mistake. Please do not buy this for £275. It's not worth it. The quality is not there. The ingredients are not there. The performance is not there. Now, the performance on the original is not that good, but the performance on this is really not up to scratch. And I think Creed are really using their brand name. If this was a new brand released now, a new niche brand that no one had ever heard before and they released this and they asked for £275 they would get absolutely destroyed by every single reviewer and lastly we have learned that Milestone by Amath is a fantastic copy of Creed Millicent Imperial a mixture of the new batch versus the old batch for £35 at the current prices of fragrances in the industry I really don't think you can go wrong I hope this video explained to you the differences between these fragrances and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments see you soon